Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about uterine didelphis, or sometimes also known as double uterus. Uh, you can see the diagram I've drawn here. Uh, this is a very rare form of a uterine malformation. So the statistics go in uh, 1 in 2,000 women will actually experience this type of uterine malformation. Of all the uterine malformations, this is one of the most uh, rarer ones. And then he presents himself with two cervix here, and then two uterine cavities. So that's why we know this as a, a double uterus. So although it seems like there is nothing much uh, wrong with this type of uh, pregnancy, and then you might think that hey, uh, this type of uterus may be able to uh, sustain two pregnancies at the same time. Now although that is true, this type of uh, uterus, you may not have uh, trouble conceiving, but you have trouble in sustaining the pregnancy. As in, preserving the pregnancy, especially in the early, uh, early days of pregnancy. These types of uterine malformations have an imbalanced tissue ratio of having more connective tissues compared to muscle tissues. A normal healthy uterus with only one uterine cavity and one uh, cervical canal has a healthy balance of uh, connective tissues and muscular tissues. There's more muscular tissues compared to connective tissues, whereas this one's these types of uh, uterus, they have more connective tissues. So, uh, even though you are able to uh, release ovaries and uh, fertilization can still take place, but once implantation happens anywhere, there is a very high risk of an early pregnancy loss because of all the connective tissues in this type of a uterine uh, uterus. So we know, as I've, uh, tell me, as I've uh, explained many times, there's very poor blood flow in these types of uterus and then poor nutrients delivery and also as you, have, as you can notice these types of uh, uterus have very limited space for the pregnancy to develop you may think that the uterus is very elastic and then it can expand uh, many times in volume but then you have to remember that that is a healthy uterus with a healthy balance of a uh, tissue ratio these types have more connective tissues thus they are more rigid more solid if you will so they are not so elastic that means if your pregnancy does survive the first trimester it will most likely end in a miscarriage in the second or third trimester because the baby will be growing too big and the walls are not expanding fast enough leading to a pressure induced miscarriage so here at the hospital we do have a treatment for this very rare condition our treatment is considered experimental but highly effective because of how few women ha actually have this condition. So our surgery uh, uses 3D laparoscopy and also hysteroscopy to actually fuse these two uterine cavities into one. And we call this our uterine fusion surgery or uterine unification surgery. And we want to remove this separation in the middle, connect it into one uterine cavity and at the same time, we want to make this two uh, cervical canal into one. So we've already done this type of surgeries uh, in our patients, and they all have managed to successfully get pregnant and sustain a full-term pregnancy with no uh, outside help. So if you'd like to find out more information about these types of uterine malformation, and also treatment that is available for these types of uterine malformation, please get in touch with us today, and also leave me a comment down below.